If I were to ask you to name your favorite movie captain, who would you say? I'm sure a lot of you would name Captain America, Captain Hook, or even Captain Picard. All valid choices. I, however, would name a man that I believe triumphs all three. Captain Run! An almost cult classic. During the era of early 90s family comedies, it must have been mandated that each script had to include the following elements. An American family stuck in a rut, consisting of a rebellious teenage daughter, a geeky little brother, an overworked mom, and a dad that tries too hard, as well as a wacky stranger whose unorthodox way of thinking brings the family closer together. I'll just keep her pointed due north. Don't bump into anything. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. Uh, Cameron. Should, should... Sweetie, be yeah. careful! Yeah. I don't think it gets said nearly enough today, but Kurt Russell is a national treasure. I already talked about his performance as Jack Burton in Big Trouble in Little China in another video series, which had already made him one of my favorite actors of all time. We may be trapped. Not even factoring in his iconic performances as Snake Plissken, McCready, Wyatt Earp, Elvis, Santa Claus, and of course, Captain Ron. Captain! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I swear! What? What? He's one of those actors that never seems to phone it in, and takes every part really seriously, even if it's in a family comedy. Alright, let's tie her off and kick back some cold ones, huh? Hey, come and see her. You went a minute. Yeah, I guess I'll go with a margarita. Yeah. He also always seems like he's just having the most fun on screen. This movie would have been worth remembering based on his casting and performance alone. But then some brilliant individual decides to cast Martin Short opposite him. Whoa, you hurt? See, I told you not to leave those bottles laying around. You cretin. No, Angeline's no cretin, boss. She's a Puerto Rican. A lot of Martin Short's work up to this point had been in buddy comedies, often playing the more zany companion to a straight man character. But here he gets to just play a suburban dad, and he's really good in that role. Isn't this great? <laughs> Look at this. Open ocean, uncharted islands. Who knows what's waiting for us out there? It's a role that still allows him to be funny, not so much in a goofy slapstick way, but in a more subtle, awkward way that really works in this movie, especially when playing off Kurt Russell's character. I can meet my wife and kids? Yeah, hi, Mrs. Harvey. <laughs> You old dog of a she keeps your clock wound, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my daughter Caroline. Oh, hey, my mistake! The plot follows Martin, Harvey, and family, who have recently inherited a yacht from an uncle that was once owned by Clark Gable, though it's now in less than perfect condition. Kids, you gotta see this. This is way better than you would think. It just needs a little work. It's great. They decide to sail it to Miami to sell to a family friend, hiring a local, Captain Ron Rico, a Navy vet to aid them. Yeah, Ron Rico. Call me Captain Ron, boss. Everybody does. Hi, Captain Ron. And yes, Ron Rico is the name of a brand of rum. Yeah, diesel love their oil like a sailor loves his rum. <laughs> yes, they do. Why is that, Captain Ron? Well, nobody knows. Huh. All right. For his portrayal as Captain Ron, Kurt Russell actually wore a lot of his own clothing. And much like Snake Plissken, he sports an eye patch over his left eye. I don't like to draw attention to myself, so what is it? Now I know why Plissken never takes his off. Martin's family soon begins bonding with Captain Ron, despite Martin's frustration. Martin and Captain Ron just can't seem to get along, even though Captain Ron tries to steer Martin in the right direction, both in life and as a sailor. You know, there's gorillas in these woods. Gorillas? Uh, sorry, Captain Ron. Gorillas are native to equatorial Africa. Okay, no gorillas, not here, no way. Uh -huh. Gorillas. He did it on purpose. You can see it in his eyes. Excuse me, his eye. Martin, he'll hear you. 
Let him hear me. Again, this movie doesn't reinvent that wheel of having a stranger get along better with a man's family than he does. It actually reminds me a lot of Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfuss in What About Bob? A movie that I'm destined to come back to. But Martin Short and Kurt Russell pair off each other incredibly well, and come off just as great as some of cinema's most iconic teams. Let me tell you something. This is not a toy, okay? It's a highly complex piece of equipment. Well, I can see that. Well, that's in there. All kind of buttons there. The rest of the Harvey family are pretty well cast as well. I love the son's relationship with Captain Ron. Hey, get your hands off that. I was just moving it. I wasn't going to drink it. You bet your little booty you wasn't. You want a beer, you get your own beer. The gorilla characters are also fun as well. He said gorilla, not gorilla. Gur. Go. Huge difference, kids. Huge difference. The movie was also shot on location, and it will really motivate you to want to see the Caribbean. The plot eventually becomes about Martin being a hero to his own family, but also about Captain Ron giving him the opportunity to do so. A lot of the comedies I talk about in this series often conclude with me saying that they suffer from generic plots that are made memorable by great casting. And Captain Ron is no exception. The only instrument that Columbus had to get him to the new world was his trusty company. Oh, don't lose that! It's predictable and cheesy, but I'd be lying if I said it's still not a lot of fun to watch. What's this? Monopoly. No, this. 245s and a Mac 10. It's this total macho trip, Dad. Just ignore it. The movie was a minor financial hit, opening at number two behind Sneakers but found its way into even more people's hearts during its airings on cable. Here's what critics were saying at the time, though. But it cost $20 million, and it's in 3D, and not just regular 3D, but 3D with two different 70 millimeter cameras. With the star system, I guess I'd have to give four stars to the 3D photography. And as for Michael Jackson, just a lot of Mickey Mouse. Okay, I actually couldn't find any Captain Ron reviews, so that was one for Captain EO. You know, I don't believe I've ever been to Disney World. Oh, really? I've been to Dollywood. You guys are making me lose count. Right, right, right. Captain Ron is available on a Bare Bones DVD release that deserves to be remastered on Blu-ray. I'd love to see some interviews with Kurt Russell and Martin Short talking about the experience working on this movie. Kurt Vogels! It's like Kurt. sitting in the principal's office. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt Vogel! These two guys are a rare class of actors that make all of their movies better just because they're in it. And having both of them in this movie sets it apart. It makes it still worth watching 28 years later. What happened? Nothing. <sighs> Playing hide the salami in the shower. Oh, come on, man. 